Hello my dear students once again a very very warm welcome to your yet another session from EduSat Our today's topic is very dear to my heart very close now you must be saying that the teacher always says this is an interesting topic but indeed today's topic is for a topic for lifetime you know why because we are going to do applications which we write to the principal now to the best of my knowledge it is not incorporated in your syllabus this time but as far as this topic is concerned till the time you are studying in a school or a college or even if you have left the college or the school you shall be required to write the applications to the principal you know why sometimes you need a birth certificate or sometimes you need school leaving certificate you need a scholarship certificate it's not that you have passed the particular establishment or the institution that you don't require that means but you jado to see ਸਕੂਲ ਜਾਂ ਕਾਲਜ ਛੱਡ ਵੀ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਪੜ੍ਹ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤਦ ਤੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਰਹਿਣੀ ਹੈ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੀ ਨਾ ਸਿਰਫ ਉਦੋਂ ਬਲਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਛੱਡ ਵੀ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਜਾਂ ਕਾਲਜ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੈਲਪਫੁਲ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸਿੰਗ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲ it will open your doors to all other all other official letters in your syllabus right now to the best of my knowledge you have personal letters social letters but writing applications to the principal is a general topic which i have deliberately incorporated so as you to practice this more and i wish to motivate you as much as i can for practicing writing applications to the principal before we proceed to the rules and the formats and the parts of the letter or the application i would like to show you a very small clips i have taken from youtube for education purposes only you just try and go through them there might be variables in them jehde tonu main hun video clips dikha rahi ha oh koi pakke is tarah de nahi han ki tusi use tarah da hi karna hai tusi variables nahi kar sakde during ppt main tonu dikhawangi ki assi kis tarah ਕਿਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਮੋਡੀਫਾਈ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਉ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਆਰ ਵੀਡੀਓਸ ਨਾਉ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ we'll come back to this as well here you have a date which you may or may not write here right in the applications we generally write at the bottom so you can ignore this here also if you put a comma it's okay if you don't put a comma it's okay it won't be marked incorrect but this is to the headmaster or to the principal this remains forever like this if you are addressing to the principal right then the address of the school government model high school government senior secondary school government girl senior secondary school whichever school you are studying in you are supposed to write the address and have you noted one thing the capital letter is in the beginning of each word for example the gamba jan school so d capital j capital s capital accordingly senior the s capital then dot secondary scc dot school and whatsoever the village name is it's manoli it's sohana it's tarantaran or the city name i'm saying you're supposed to write that here and please take care of the capital and the small letters this is very important much important than the commas and the full stop if you happen to write 
headmaster with a small case h, it is going to be altogether wrong. Similarly, while writing the address of the school, pehla shabd, shabd da pehla akshar capital hona bohat zaruri hai, right? Even the city or the village name starts with a capital letter. Asi zada tar bachyo is kal wal bilkul tiyan nahi dende. Subject matter nu cram karan de vich, enne zada ula jande haan ke asi a hi tiyan nahi dende ke principal da pp jada hai o capital to shuru hoye ga. Sada school da spellings jada hai, ode vich capital letter kede aane haan. Ya jade pind da naam hai, uthe ki thhe capital letter aana hai. Spellings wal te aan dena bohat ahem hai. ये छोटे छोटे मार्क्स ही तो अनु वन एंड हाफ मार्क तो डर डिडक्ट हो जाना है जदो थोड़ा उत्ते एड्रेस चिड़ा है वो ही गलत होना है, राइट? सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन टू हाउ इट इज़ रिटन दैट्स व्हाई आई एम शोइंग यू द वीडियो देन यू कैन सी द सब्जेक्ट प्रेयर फॉर परमिशन टू गो ऑन अ पिकनिक वील � Then salutation, just no can they hun, sir. With due respect and humble submission, we the students of class 7 would like to seek your permission to go for a picnic. Our parents have agreed to bear the expenses and help us with the arrangement of the picnic. Our respective class teachers have given the consent to accompany us. We have tentatively planned the picnic for 21st November 2009 or 2017. We hope and pray that you should, you would be kind enough to grant us permission for our class picnic. So this is the body of the letter, a fair idea of how the things have to be. Can you see this all? You don't need to cram it up. You have to just pay attention to the body very vaguely. We will come back to it. Then this is the last line. We hope and pray that you would be kind enough, your obediently, whichsoever the class. Remember that an official letter should be brief and to the point. You don't need to write the stories like you do in the personal letters. So it's very easy. I've started the letters with applications deliberately. Jan Buchke. So once you know or practice writing these applications, you'll be able to write the personal letters very comfortably. Because in the applications to the principal, in all the official letters, you need to be crisp, you need to be on the point, you do not need to go round and round about the same subject. What you want in the first few lines, in the subject it's, itself, then very few lines, you describe what you want and then say thank you and bye bye. That is how it is. So, this is a repetition for you. This is the subscription we call it, end which jo asi bol deya. And here a glimpse of another application to the principal for school leaving certificate. Again see the address, because after this I am going to explain how we do it. Then notice the subject, please notice the subject. It is in the red, application for school leaving certificate, which letter is capital? Then the salutation, ena jeeza nu likhan vile hi sa nu bohat confusion hunda hai. कि केडी लेटर विच असी की लिखना है, so be clear on this. Look towards the format. Have a great look at this. 
we will come back to this only. So, now beginning into in detail about how to go about writing the applications to the principle. To start a letter or application to the principal of your school, you need to write the proper details of the school on the left side of the page. So, why I have put left in the higher case alphabets, left they come capital likhya hai, why? So that it remains in your mind. What remains in your mind? that we have to start writing the address of our school from the left side of the page. Can you see it? It is in the left side of this whole slide. So, you can consider this as a page. We do not want to go into the details that letters are of three types, four types. You all know that we have personal letters, we have social letters, we have official letters. Today we are doing applications and not to forget to mention a letter is divided into three or four parts. The first is the address which we are going to write now. See how I have written the address. This is how you are supposed to write it. I have seen in the schools in many of the students they do not pay attention to the capital and small letters as I was mentioning. So, you are supposed to write P capital for principal, each alphabet for each word. The alphabet starting alphabet has to be in the higher case capital letter, the school address and you can very well see where we have put commas and where we have put full stop. Nowadays, at times we choose to ignore these also in official letters, but it is good if you put them. So, you must be having the pin code for your village, write complete address. If you write pin codes, it is very easy for the post, postal department to locate the exact village, because there are so many villages with the similar names. I hope I am clear till here. So, this is how you are supposed to write to any principal you are writing, may it be a college principal, may it be a school principal, right? may it be university principal, but there, there are no principals, there, there will be department, head of the departments. So, there you can replace principal with the head of the department right? and you have to start from the left side margin of the page. Then comes the subject line. The subject line is the most important part of the letter as it addresses and summarizes the topic which we are writing to the principal about. So, subject line bohat important hai. Sab to important part subject line hai. The principal will come to know what the letter is about before reading the details of the issue or request in one single short and straightforward line. This means what? Agar asi subject te which simply estra likdenya application for sick leave. The principal will have a fair idea whether this leave is to be sanctioned by her, it falls in her area of authority or it has to be directed to any of your class in charges or it is to be done by somebody else. Can the paave, jado asi subject likhte haan, ta principal e jaan lenda hai ki e kam usde karan wala hai ya sirf sign kar ke agge pejan wala hai. For example, verification of date of birth hai, in the date of birth certificate, in the entrance certificate of your school admission certificate which we exam admission register which we call it. So, once you write you need the verification for birth date, the teacher or the principal will immediately 
direct the letter or the application to the concerned. But if it is something concerning her or him, it will immediately be done by her after reading the subject. So, subject is that important. Visha enna important hai ki tawde jile letter hai, body hai, us to pehle hi andaza lag janda hai ki e kam principal de karan wala hai ya principal ne e kam agge ki se to karana hai. You got the idea why we write the subject? Suppose you've got 50 or 100 letters. Now, how would you know that you're going to do all of them or somebody else is going to do them? So, once you go through the subjects, you immediately are able to deal with all of them. So, it not only facilitates the principle, but it also facilitates your work to be done very easily and well in time. Right? So, always for, don't forget to mention the subject line that is application for sick leave. We can go back to our this. See, this is the subject application for school leaving certificate. I have deliberately chosen this video so that you know diff in different colors what is most important. And subject, asi zada tar ignore kar den dea. Sanu lagda hai, ita zaruri nahi hai. Asi jo kehna cha rahe ho, wo principal paari lehega. Right? Try to make the subject line as short as possible. Line bohat choti honi chahi di hai. Jimmy Asi Karesi, application for sick leave, application for school leaving certificate, application for station leave, application to go for a picnic. You don't need to write stories in the subject line. It is as short as possible, but still headlining the issue which you are writing to the principal of your school about. So you are supposed to write. But chote hunde chakkar vich, tu si e na pul jana ki o ik sir lekh di tarah honi chai di hai. Us te vich pura saar a jana chai da hai. Ki dhere tu si socho le chote likh ni hai application. Asi sirf application likh dhenne hai. Ya asi likh dhenne hai school leaving. What school leaving? Right? So it should be three or four or five or six words. But it should mean what you want to write in the subject. Subject line generally do not need to be more than one line, but in extreme cases you may take 1.5 to 2 lines. Just be sure to keep it short and simple. So there are no hard and fast rules that you are supposed to put it in one line. But of course it is a matter of common sense that don't exceed it beyond a line. But if your subject or if your letter is too lengthy and you need more than one or more than two requests to be dealt with, then you might take 1.5 to 2 lines. For example, you need two address, two issues to be addressed, school leaving certificate, verification of your date of birth and your character certificate. Now, there are three documents you want at one go. You can write one application for that. You don't need to write three applications for that. Nowadays in the banks, what they do is, if you require one service or the other or the other or the other, they have 10 services at a go and you are just supposed to tick them, which one you like to have. So similarly, while writing an application, be sure that you address all your issues at one go. Who is going to write, see through your four applications? Again, you are writing, I am a student of this class, I am a student of this school and this is what I want. So this is a very simple thing but from my end i should tell you this that you can have two or three requests to be dealt with at one go in your application right subject line is like the heading of an essay or a small description of the content the principal is about to read which keeps the letter or application firmer and simple Subject line is tarah hundi hai bachche ho jime ki kise aise da heading hoi. For example, a visit to a railway station. Immediately you come to know what you are supposed to write. Similarly, je kise dousre ne application paddi hai, is ta matlab e nahi hai ke tusi kahaniya hi paaniya shuru kar do. O is tarah hundi chahi di hai jime aise da heading hoi. Taan ki principal no vi sahulat ho jai 
ਇਹ ਪੜਨ ਦੀ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਲਾਈਨ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਹਦੇ ਚ ਕੋਈ ਮੰਤਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੜਨਾ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਲਿਖ ਦਿਓ always line the read write the subject line before writing the salutation hun tusi kahoge salutation this is called salutation salutation means abhivadan karna kise nu introduce karna apne aap nu us to pehle us nu respect pay karna so us to pehle hundi hai subject line after your address jehda si hun address kita si ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਲਾਈਨ ਛੋੜ ਕੇ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਐਂਡ ਇਮੀਡੀਏਟਲੀ ਆਫਟਰ ਥੈਟ ਦ ਸੈਲੂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਇਟ ਕਲੀਅਰਲੀ ਫॉर ਮੋਰ ਕਲੈਰਿਟੀ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੁੱਕ ਹੀਅਰ ਔਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਗੈਪ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਥੈਟ ਦ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਡਿਸਟਿੰਕਟਲੀ ਸੀਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਜ਼ਨਟ ਦਿਸ ਸਾਊਂਡਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਔਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਇਟ now the salutations jina di assi gal kar rahe si what are salutations when we are supposed to pay formal respect to the person we are addressing our application to now here lies a lot of confusion what we do assi ek var ki karde ha ek vari jinu adopt kar liya assi use nu karke rakhde ha hun tusi kahoge ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਡ ਸਾਰੀ ਆ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਡ ਮੈਡਮ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਮ ਲਿਖਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਸਟੀਰੀਓਟਾਈਪਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਰਾਈਟ ਡੀਅਰ ਸਰ ਡੀਅਰ ਮੈਮ ਡੀਅਰ ਮੈਡਮ ਐਂਡ देयर इज अ ਕਾਮਾ ਆਫਟਰ ਥੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਲੈਟਰ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਸਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਐਂਡ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਟ ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਸਮਾਲ 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 ਡਿਟੇਲਸ which nobody pays attention to while writing an application but once you become accustomed to these types then you don't make errors or hun tusi kahoge ki jadon assi rishtedaran nu likhni hai dostan nu likhni hai fer ki farak hai salutation ch hai na utthe tusi likhoge my dear friend or my dear pulkit my dear ashma because there you need to show the affection here you need to show the formality and the respect all together now when you write dear in the salutation for an application on an official letter you just are on the borderline tusi bilkul vich kar hunde ho na te tusi bahut hi formal ho ke respected show karde ho ki tonu koi affection nahi hai na hi tusi bahut apnatva show karde ho dear shows dear is a very nice word to show both formality and affection when we write oh my dear then it shows a lot of affection and we do that in our personal letters so there is a change you can adopt to adapt to we can write dear sir dear ma'am instead of respected sir respected ma'am of course the respected sir and respected madam is absolutely right but this is what i want to teach you as regarding something new in the trend right now that our address salutation and subject line has been written properly it is the time to write the letter now what could be the various type of applications or letters to the principals leave applications personal request regarding some issue request to delay or postpone fee last date request regarding something related to studies so these are four categories which you don't need to remember I've just put it for your convenience that these are the type of applications you keep on writing to your principal. There could be any number of reasons for which we might want to write to the principal directly if the task is not in the power of appointed teachers and authorities. That is why writing application to the principal has to be short, simple and giving out all the details of the issues. as the principal will be able to address all these better than if students go and queue up to him or her e gal assi kar chuke ha ki jadon saadi gal saade teacher aur authority to upar hundi hai ta assi principal kol jande ha aur usnu ek choti ji application likhde ha ta ki sanu utthe bahut zyada queue up ya lambi line ch na khade hona pae and content writing de vich very important 
when we write leave application for instance this is how we proceed after the address after the salutation after the subject line this is how we can write you can always start with due respect now i beg to state or i beg to say is a little english or victorian age so this is how you can modify of course there will be a comma there is an error with due respect i wish to state ya i wish to say main kehna chahta ha so you can always start your applications like this with due respect i wish to say that i am prabhjot kaur of 11th class section c i am writing this application to request for a leave on 5th july 17 and then the reason isn't it simple us de vich ratta maran wali koi gali nahi hai see this is the example i am manpreet kaur of class 11 writing this application to request for a leave for 2 days starting 5 july my brother is getting married on 5th july and since it's an important family function i require leave for 2 days to attend it this is the body of the letter this is what we call the body of the letter now see you have conveyed your reason also in four lines but of course it is very important to tell your class and your name immediately the principal will mark it to your class in charge of class 11 if you have highlighted it here kindly allow me leave for two days i shall be thankful so you don't need to write that thanking you yours obediently always you write that it there can be a little change here i shall be thankful i shall be grateful and see this is subscription this is how we end yours de vich koi apostrophe s nahi aayega y capital aayega sincerely da s small aayega ek comma zarur aayega then your name and your parent signature here of course is apostrophe s but it hardly matters ethe tusi apne parents te sign kara ke apne principal nu doge once he sanctions the leave then of course you can it can be directed to your class in charge so that a leave can be put in your attendance register hena easy say si unluckily now we are coming to the types you could not attend school because of some unforeseen issue ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਕੂਲ ਅਟੈਂਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਪਾਏ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਉਸ ਕੇਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲਿਖੋਗੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਲੈਟਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਜਾਂ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਦੇ ਥਰੂ ਭੇਜਣੀ ਹੈ ਉਸੇ ਦਿਨ ਜਾਂ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਡੇ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਸਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਮੈਡਮ ਆਲਸੋ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬੈਟਰ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਡ ਸਰ ਔਰ ਡੀਅਰ ਮੈਮ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸੰਦੀਪ ਕੌਰ ਕਲਾਸ 11 ਬੀ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਇਨਫੋਰਮ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਐਬਸੈਂਸ ਫਰਮ ਸਕੂਲ due to sudden illness on 1st july 2017 i had a fever or a stomach problem or flu whatever your reason is i have always seen the application they always write i was i am suffering from fever you can have stomach problem also because of which i could not come to the school this whole letter is in the past tense because you could not come to the school and i was not fit enough to study so kindly grant me leave i shall be thankful yours sincerely yours obediently yours faithfully yours truly these four subscriptions you can write there's no hard and fast rule that you're supposed to write only sincerely yours obediently is also a little outdated but of course students write yours truly whatsoever i'm saying i'm saying it with truth yours faithfully and in the personal letters we write yours lovingly yours truly also so wherever we want to convey our true and honest feelings as well as we have to maintain that formality we write yours sincerely and there could be a family issue or an urgent matter you have to advancely inform then how will you write I am Prabhjot Singh of class 8 11th A and writing this application to inform of my absence for school in the coming days. 
because of my cousin sister's wedding reception and family events. I have to go out of station for these events with my family. I would be obliged or thankful if you could allow me leave for these upcoming days. And I shall be back and catch up on my studies. Yours sincerely, Prabhjot Singh. It could be son of, it could be daughter of. Since it is Prabhjot Singh, here it would be son of. And your parents' name and parents' signatures. Isn't it sounding so simple? So here is one last example for you. He, I am Julie Watson of class 5A writing this application to request you to introduce evening practice for cricket for students who are interested in school sports after school hours. So, extra the applications we sanu likhniya paisak diyaan, right? So, students, a uh, look for few minutes, few seconds on this application. This is a complete format for your applications. And promise me one thing: you'll go home and practice writing some of the applications. If you need help, you can always refer to your teachers. So my request to you is, not from examination point of view, but from personal point of view. Kindly practice writing applications to the principals. Of course, not only will it generate confidence on you, but also you'll be able to write further official letters, like bank manager or your estate officer or your commissioner of police. So format remains almost same. So practice writing applications to principal. So that's all for our today from our EduSat studio. For our next session, we'll meet up soon. Thank you and bye bye till then. Take care.